Welcome to Capillaris Ultimate Talk TV. Be inspired, informed, and elevate your mind one step at a time. Talking about life, real estate, business, and beyond. Your host, author, speaker, real estate broker, Carmela Zita Capillaris. My next guest, I just want to, I just like to send out a tip to all women and men too, that to be beautiful means to truly be yourself and truly accept yourself the way you are. And what could make you feel more beautiful than exquisite jewelry? Here is Michelle Mayer from Beju from Jewel Designs to show us beautiful client gifts or accessories that you can get for yourself and Christine Deruzzi, jewelry gemologist and mobile appraiser. Thank you for being here. <laughs> so great to be here. here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so exciting. Well, um, let's talk about your jewelry, uh, Michelle. This is a beautiful piece uh, that I am wearing that Michelle made especially for me for the show to match my outfit. She uh, is very uh, artistic and uh, she goes with people's personalities and yeah. she's made four other pieces for the show as you can see and she's going to describe those for us. Can you tell us something about uh, those pieces sure. and what you, yeah, specifically what yes. you think they're for? Yeah. So this piece here we have I call the formal night out on the town piece and that is basically for everybody's little black dress that every woman has in their closet. This will turn heads and make you the center of attention when you walk in the room. It's this beautiful. Yeah, it's green. That's such a beautiful yes. place too. I love, the, I love those flat crystals. It's just beautiful. The second one I have here is Ooh. what I call the speaking on stage or open house. That work. really pops. <laughs> it uh, definitely makes a statement and commands attention. Everybody will notice that when you're, as soon as you walk in the room, either go on stage or if you're hosting an open house. Uh, yeah, and I think it, it uh, goes with any outfit. Oh, just it does. from the colors, because you've got your silver and your bronze and everything, and uh, you can wear it with anything, especially a black little black dress. Would yes, look awesome. that too. And again, when you're speaking on stage or, like I was saying, an open house, the people will remember you by your jewelry. And so, they're going, you're going to be the first name they think of because mm -hmm. they'll remember, oh, I saw her with that piece of jewelry that I loved. Yes. So. Or if you're going for a listing appointment and you want to stand out in, among other oh, uh, realtors. Definitely, <laughs> that too. Then <laughs> you can wear something that they'll remember you by. Yes, So for what's sure. the next piece? The next piece is well, really colorful. This is what I call the fun and funky. It's actually three necklaces together and it's um i just love it for the summer i love the combination of the turquoise and the orange crystals and this is a wrap bracelet on top which is one that you just wrap around it's these things are great because they're easy to put on you don't have to worry about any clasps this is this combination is just fun it's playful yeah. and it will it will add spice to any outfit and it'll bring out the wild side in you great summer colors yes and this last piece here is actually the uh, everyday versatile, as I call it. It's like it's, a classic piece. It's a classic piece. And it'll take you from day into night. So if you're having a long work day and you're going out in the evening, mm -hmm. but you don't have time to go home and change, mm -hmm. then you can just take this because it can actually be worn as a single strand oh. and as a double strand. It's long enough. Oh, so wow. you get two looks from one uh, when, when the, yeah. you have the same outfit on. So. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So at the office you can wear it long and then if you're going out for evening you can wrap it up more like yep. a uh, choker and make yeah. it richer and looking. Yeah, and with the pearls and the crystals it, it's, it's gives the sparkle and it's a classic look. Yeah, so your pieces are very unique, Michelle. How did you get started doing this? 
Well, I've always been very creative and I've always been looking, I always like unique, unique pieces. And I never had any luck finding things that I liked. So I ended up making it myself. And then anytime I would wear these, these pieces, people would always ask me where I got the jewelry from. And I'd said that I would make it and everybody was shocked. And so I love my piece. Then, uh, <laughs> anyhow, people started asking me to make jewelry for them or to make jewelry for gifts. And so there I, the business idea was born. You actually created on people's personalities and uh, yes. their functions and what they do. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. great. So whatever anybody's looking for, if they want something versatile. Wow. That's nice. Now, Christine, you are a gemologist and a mobile appraiser. Can you define the two for us? So basically, Gem and Jewels is a mobile jewelry appraisal service, and basically, um, my schooling is of a certified gemologist, and I go to people's homes and I do their jewelry documentation, and you would use that documentation um, to assess your personal assets so that you can buy your insurance, your homeowner's policy properly. Or if you're deciding that maybe there is a piece that you don't necessarily wear anymore and maybe you would think that it would be um, more beneficial to have it off-site like in a safety deposit box, mm -hmm. for example. This is really important for people to understand what their inventory is in the house so that they can purchase their, their insurance properly. Yeah, so um, I think uh, it's very important for people to safeguard their jewelry and personal assets, especially if they're putting their house on the market or for open houses. Definitely. How would you advise them like to do that? What is the best way to secure that? Um, being that I would have uh, people that were coming in and out of the house and not everybody is being monitored, those pieces definitely need to be in a secured location outside of the home. I think it just lends itself to an opportunity that shouldn't be there. Or um, I'm also a very big, can I'm very big uh, advocate for having an in-house safe, mm -hmm. um, which not a lot of people are going to see uh, if it's well hidden. But uh, by and large, I really do think that if you're having an open house, you, everybody should be telling their clients that personal assets should be moved to a secure location. Right. Because it's just so easy and so transportable. Right. 90% of women will keep their jewelry in an undergarment drawer. So, you know, it's yeah. the first place that anybody will look. look. And if there's um, multi-viewings at the same location, you have no idea how things can go missing and you it's not something that you would necessarily find out right away it's a yeah. pair of earrings here or a pair of <laughs> earrings there it it just it's much better to be safe than sorry and i think what a lot of people don't know is that their jewelry is not covered under their home ownership policy they have to get a separate uh, policy or add on for for jewelry for well, specific um, uh, even custom pieces or any pieces that are priceless? Well, as a matter of fact, there is a, a separate uh, there's a separate rider on your homeowner's policy mm -hmm. that does cover up to a certain amount, certain amount. Of, of policy coverage. Right, so right. in some cases, and, and I really talk to women that are restarting their lives again, sometimes money is an issue and they buy the cheapest policy. But sometimes that policy will only have like a $2,000 policy limit on jewelry. That's really, really important to know what you have in the house to be able to purchase the policy properly. So that if you're only going to have a coverage for $2,000, make sure that those assets are off-site. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to have your jewelry in the house, make sure that you're covered with a $6,000 policy right. limit. And if you have very big pieces of jewelry, then they need to be itemized separately on your homeowner's policy and put onto a rider. And mm -hmm. that's the way that you can most um, effectively ensure your valuables against being lost or stolen. Yeah, that's great. Now, I know that, um, did you want to add anything to that, Michelle? Because I know you also offer other services. Uh, yes. Um, in addition to the custom jewelry design, I do uh, offer service. You know how you always have jewelry sitting in 
your drawer at home. Right. <laughs> Either pieces are broken, pieces are missing, or you don't like it at all. Yes. You can bring it all to me. I'll take it all apart. I'll put it together in a custom piece that you'll love and that you'll wear all the time. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'll do too is I'll come to your house, look at all your jewelry, look at all your clothes, and assess what jewelry goes with what clothes, make any adjustments to those, or make any new custom pieces for you. If you want to spice up your wardrobe, or the jewelry brand yeah. that you want. So you actually, re like you actually recycle pieces I'll recycle people. pieces, yeah, because I know I've heard so many stories of people having where they've lost one earring or they have a piece or that they've happens received to me all the time. pieces as, as gifts and they just <laughs> don't really like them. Right, so they right. don't wear them, they sit in the drawer. Might as well put it all together. And is it just custom like. jewelry or is it gold, silver too? It would be more of the custom, custom. the, so the you're costume not like that jewelry. Oliver guy, right? No, <laughs> no, not yet, anyhow. <laughs> Christine, what are the different types of appraisals, and why are they used? So um, there's a couple of different types of appraisals that people really should familiarize themselves with. The first one is the kind of appraisal that we were just talking about that you would take to your insurance company as, and and. Um, have your premiums based on that. And that's called an insurance replacement appraisal. So that's going to be taken to the insurance company and it's going to be utilized to buy your insurance effectively. The second kind of an appraisal that there is is called a probate appraisal and that's um, an appraisal for the actual market value of that product when you're selling it. So Basically, that kind of an appraisal is going to be given to someone that is planning an estate or um, an executor of an estate. So basically, you need to liquidate the asset immediately, and it's worth the raw material cost of that asset. Um, and that's called a probate appraisal. And there's a third kind of an appraisal, um, and I, it, it actually can be either a probated appraisal or an insurance appraisal. Um, and it's used as a travel dossier. Mm -hmm. So for example, mm -hmm. if there's um, women that are traveling from Canada to Asia, let's say, and they're going to um, attend a family wedding, uh, they might be bringing pieces of jewelry from Canada mm -hmm. into these countries. Well, an appraisal basically will prove to the customs agent that the, that the um, jewelry was purchased or that the jewelry was naturalized in Canada. Yeah. And so that when they're coming back with right. those pieces, they the don't. customs officer can't, can't, uh, right. can't negate that. Why, are there, why is there so, uh, so much difference between values of appraisals? Oh, Can you give a us a quick answer on that? Question. Such yeah, a frustrating question. Give us a quick question. answer. Every, We're just kind yeah. of close. You know, I'll make an analogy like this. When, when you buy a car, it's a brand new car. Five years later, you don't expect to sell that brand new car for what you paid for it. Mm -hmm. for, because of something called depreciation. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. The consumer seems to think that because a ring was $10,000, that when they sell that used product, they're going to get $10,000 back. Yeah. And so that's what the difference is between probated appraisals and replacement valued yeah. appraisals. Insurance companies replace for like kind and quality in a brand new venue. But right. used jewelry is sold on the secondary market. So that's where the values are a lot different. So I see. Basically, that's very interesting. Basically, used product is worth what somebody is going to pay for it. Yes. And a new product is worth what your insurance company is going to let you spend. So, Michelle, uh, where can people get your jewelry? You do home parties and uh, you also sell your jewelry online, right? Yes, I do. Yes. yes. They so, can visit me at jeweldesigns.com or give me a call at 416-737-0771. And uh, Michelle also has a gift certificate to give away to a lucky winner. Uh, before we do that, let people know where they can contact you, Christine. So you can reach me at www.gemandjewels.com or call me directly at 416-807-2747. And you can be the the person that gives away your gift certificate to for the lucky yes, to of? Yes. one of uh, uh, Michelle's lovely jewelry displays here, and the winner is the winner is Effie Capodistrius. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Michelle. Thank you so
so you much. You are lovely. You are so creative. And thank you thank for you all that much. great Thanks. information, Thanks Christine. Thank you. Welcome to Capillaris Ultimate Talk TV. Be inspired, informed, and elevate your mind one step at a time. Talking about life, real estate, business, and beyond. Your host, author, speaker, real estate broker, Carmela Zita Capillaris. And we have a very special guest with us tonight with a very innovative idea for client and business parties. Did you know that the best way to your client's heart is through their stomach? And that whining and dining and good food could just help you close that deal. Well, here to tell us more is the painting chef, Italian chef Salvatore Parete. Welcome. <laughs> So, go ahead, I just wanted to know, I know you want to paint for us with food and everybody asks me, how does he paint with food? So he's going to give you a demonstration, but tell me, what part of Italy are you from? I'm from Naples. From <laughs> Naples. Woo! And uh, how long have you been here? Maybe three years ago, the coming in, uh, in Canada. Yes. And uh, like... Uh, very, very much. And uh, mostly you do parties uh, and you do uh, demonstrations with painting, yeah. right? And what made you start painting with food? I paint uh, tonight uh, for uh, everybody. Uh, just uh, faccio vedere, uh, this is uh, only food, no color, no chemic, nothing. This is and just food, yeah. Just food. And this is good for, uh, for kids because the, the kids is, uh, no, have no problem with eating, they don't have an alimentation very uh, sana. So it could be also a joke, in fact, it's probably a joke for them, and they learn to play and at the same time to eat more sane. Yeah, so Salvatore is saying that uh, this started all for kids, because kids always have trouble eating. So he started this to make, pe to make the kids uh, have fun with the food and he'd paint and also feed them the food at the same time. It started uh, for an incentive for children and now he does it as an art. So why don't we explain what some of this food is? Yeah, tonight uh, prepare for uh, this color. This is coffee, this is the yam, the sweet potato, the beets, the cream, avocado and the balsamic. Just the color base for, uh, for start uh, uh, one, uh, one paint. And there's no start? chemicals in it no and it's chemicals. just straight food. You try? Try, go, yeah. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. So this is whipped cream? No worry. Mmm, yes. Yeah. Uh, straight is... food, straight food. All right. All right, yeah, paint for us. The start? Yes, paint for us. All right. But do you know what you're going to paint? I don't know, just the flower is... Uh... So that's beets mm. that you're using this right now. The start for beets. It's a nice uh, red color. Just uh, this is the beets, the, the, um, in the water, the barrel, after the blender for uh, this uh, consistency. Beautiful. Just for uh, one base. That there you base, go. Now yeah. you believe it. Una there base. he goes, painting with food. <laughs> nice song, you want? Uh, yeah, you like solo this song? Mio yeah. from Napoli. Yeah, yeah. So next is avocado. This Next, is straight avocado. This avocado. For just the, the cream, just the blend, blender. And just for mix. Just is have the, the long uh, 
long walk, no. So it's did you have to take per, to print the corpo? Just to do the leaves, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, did you have to go to art school for this? Yeah, ho fatto la scuola, sì, la scuola di arte, the school a long time ago, e questo per far capire che il cibo non è solo sfamare. Uh, il cibo è arte, il cibo è, è, è gioco, il cibo è, è, è seduzione, come right. spiego nel, nel mio libro che ho, che ho fatto, The Food to Seduce. Quindi, yes. con il cibo... Salvatore ha scritto un libro e ha detto che il cibo non è solo per mangiare, ma è per la seduzione, è per l'amore, è per il divertimento, è per il divertimento, è per il divertimento, è per il divertimento, è per il divertimento. And he also has a book, and he also gives cooking, um, painting lessons. You give painting yes, lessons for kids for and kids cooking lessons. Yes, for kids and cooking class. The class for uh, kitchen, for fresh pasta, for everything. Just mm -hmm. uh, only mm -hmm. clean, nothing. Just the cook, that's it. Yes, as you can see, he does so many uh, uh, displays and artistic food for parties. And also you do private dinner parties. You do a, a you do a dinners in the house. Yes, the dinner. dinner in the house, the dinner for uh, for par for uh, everything event. Yes. Uh, the word for catering. Yeah, for, catering uh, four course meal. Salvador is doing one for me yes, on Sunday. Yes. In my house, four courses. Yes. <laughs> and he's also maybe going to paint for us. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, Just so that was yams, right? Yeah. This is yams, yeah. this is a green. The one you just used, the yellow one is yams. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Just this for demonstration. I just have the, the baby got the long time for just one picture. Are we making flour? Yeah. This is good for the eh? Yeah, how long does it usually take to, for you to paint a picture? Maybe this? For yeah. A, yeah, maybe one... Uh, you said you minutes. usually yeah. need 15 minutes, but yeah. you're doing a little bit yeah, right. more faster this no, for right. us, for the show, right? Yeah. This is balsamic? This is balsamic, just, just for understand, <laughs> for understand this, uh, the food is possible just to do the, the anything cold. with. And you think the, the kids now look this for, uh, for, uh, per loro è un, è un gran divertimento, è un Yeah, è for the kids it's a, it's a lot Spirit. of fun, it's a yeah. lot of fun. Do you, even for adults, it's fun for adults to yeah. do this too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what is your favorite food to cook? Il mio favorito? Yes, tu favorito. Il mio piatto favorito. <laughs> Il tuo piatto. Chiaramente sono, sono di Napoli, quindi piace molto uh, cucinare il, il pesce. Oh, il fish. pesce is, uh, per me è, 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 è qualcosa di, 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 di... Pesce di mare. Il pesce di mare, di montagna non c'è. Yeah. <laughs> c'è di mare. Quindi, like that. Yeah. So yeah, but I mean fresh, right? Yeah, out of the, the fresh, ocean. the fresh yeah. pasta. Molte persone non, non riescono a cucinarlo perché yeah. è molto delicato. Sì. Però pensate che è la cosa più easy che ci possa essere, perché il pesce si cucina da solo. Yes. E volevo dire questo ne approfitto che, che è venuta a trovarmi mia <laughs> my mother. Oh, e, yeah. e volevo ringraziarla che se sono qui stasera a fare. Oh, questo tipo di, Salvatore's di mother is here from Italy and she can help her with the food. <laughs> so what are, what are some of the food that you made here yeah, that just, everyone in the audience is going to taste tonight? This? Yes. Yeah. This is just for the decoration of the different uh, um, mousse, the mousse, the artichoke, the mousse, the salmon. Artichoke, salami, salmon. Yeah, the asparagus, the salami, the mushroom. Just canopies, I like, they're canopies. Yeah, I, I like the, the different food, the different uh, colors. The colors the different, for me, repeat, it's not a sfamare, it's one of the look of the food just have the, the hungry 
solo a guardar. Yeah, the he th the food is more about the visual. Yeah. It's the visual and the presentation that makes you want to eat it and yeah. want it even more. So it's and uh, it's all about the presentation and the colors. So he, he, here is something that you made here that's amazing. This one is. This is uh, and uh, bread the bread the stuffed. stuffed. Questo with, è un, è un uh, this is uh, one, uh, one um, with cheese, cheese yeah. and the, uh, the sausage, salami. salame, è, un, è un, um, una cosa diciamo praticamente napoletana, partenopea, this is yes. the, the breaded napoletano, it's, it's a, a napoletano, it's a beautiful uh, sandwich, yes, it's beautiful, yeah. and uh, so you have smoked salmon, lo assaggi salmon. questo qua dopo, te ne porti minimo tre a casa, three, you're going to If you taste one of these, you'll want to take three home, he says. Yeah, yeah. How many people understand Italian here? Hey! Yeah, <laughs> there are, there are, there are people. Okay, so, um, so people can ha reach you, how can people reach you for dinner parties? You have a website, right? I have a website and uh, www.impero.ca uh, uh, .ca? For, yes, for uh, everything, uh, uh, anche for, uh, for, uh, for book, for uh, uh, the new... Cooking yeah, classes, the cooking you classes. also do cooking classes, private cooking classes. Sure, sure. And... Um, catering. Catering. And do you also work in a restaurant? No, I have my, my, my your own business uh, with food. Can, do you also give gift certificates uh, for people to give to their clients? For yes. real estate people, yeah. gift certificates they can give to their clients for business parties and things like that? Yeah, yeah all those things. You offer all those services, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And do we want to have some people, some people, why don't you come up and try the food? So what was the picture of? Just to, but this, I uh, have a need of the Can molta. I try? Yeah, no, <laughs> try. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, it's fun. E tu sei grande, pensa ai bambini come si divertono. I like that. Yeah. Very nice. Vedi che tutti si divertono di vivere. Allora il cibo non è solo. Non si mangia solo. Yeah. Does anybody else want to come up yeah. and try? <laughs> okay, so you can um, Salvatore they can reach you on your website at www.impero. Impero Impero www.impero.ca. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, and here's Christine's going to come up and she's going to give it a fast try. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.